their second. Oh, did you hear that? Using sport mode in the Toyota Tacoma for the very first time. And what happens if you forget to shift? Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. And that's right, today I'm going to be using sport mode for the very first time in my new Toyota Tacoma, new to me, my 2021 Toyota Tacoma. And I was wondering in this truck, what happens if you forget to shift altogether? You know, maybe you put it in sport mode, forget you're in sport mode and don't run through the gears. Will it do you for, will it do it for you? Uh, of course, I believe that it will. We're gonna find out. I remember a while back, I was in a vehicle and I wasn't aware that it had sport mode. So somehow I actually hit the shifter, pushed it over into sport mode, was driving around and it revved and revved. And I was like, what the heck is wrong with this vehicle? It wasn't mine. It was like a rental or a, a loaner, I think it was. Well, I finally figured out what it was and it didn't seem to me like it was gonna shift at all. So I'm curious to see what happens in the Tacoma. So enough talking, let's get out on the road and see what my very first time using sport mode in the Tacoma is like. Okay, here we go, we're out cruising on the road. I'm excited, you know, even though I've had this truck for quite a while, I've never engaged sport mode. You know, manual shifting, which I in no way think that it is. I drive a manual as well, this is not manual. All right, we're to stop, we'll let the traffic go by. I'm gonna push it over into sport mode. There we go, and it says S on the dash. So, we're taking off, we're in sport mode gonna see if it shifts I'm not doing anything hands up here it did shift uh, we're in fourth gear right now there's a readout on the screen uh, it shows you you're in fourth gear it's right next to the odometer let's see if I can uh, turn the camera around and show you guys hopefully I get this in the shot right there you can see I'm in fourth gear so we're cruising along uh, in manual I haven't done anything so truly, it's not a manual. I mean, it didn't let me run first gear out until my engine blew up. But we're just driving along. We're at 43 miles an hour, still in fourth gear. Let's get up to 55. Nothing has changed, except the car in front of me is getting closer and closer. Uh, we're at 55, we're still in fourth gear, no big deal. Now, I'm gonna do a downshift. Uh, at 45 miles an hour, I'm gonna click it down to third. Listen closely, and the good thing about having this louder exhaust, you'll be able to hear when the gears change. So we're going down to third, here we go. Definitely did drop to third. Now I'm gonna upshift to fourth. It upshifted to fourth when I pushed the gear selector up. Now we're gonna stop. I'm not touching it, hands-free again. I've stopped, let the traffic go by. It still reads uh, fourth gear. So is it gonna let me take off in fourth gear? We're gonna find out. I imagine it's gonna drop as soon as I hit the gas, but here we go. Let's see, I gotta get turned, get the steering wheel out of the way. It still shows fourth gear. Uh, so it never changed, it, even stopping and sitting, it still stays in fourth gear. Now, I'm cruising along at 37 mile an hour. I'm gonna downshift to third, here we go. Could definitely feel it. I know you probably couldn't hear it. I didn't hear anything. Let's go to second. We went to second, I could feel that too. I wonder if it'll let me go to first. I'm at 20 miles an hour, let's see what happens. It did. And there is a hesitation, I'm shifting. You can probably hear it, we're at 39 miles an hour in third, I'm gonna go to fourth. There you could probably hear it drop down. We're cruising at 43 miles an hour in fourth gear. Uh, let's stay the same and hit fifth, what happens? A shift, that's what happens, I heard that. Didn't really feel any change in power, if you will. 
41, two miles an hour. Let's go to sixth. Is it gonna stall out? I don't think so, but let's try it. I felt nothing. We're now in sixth gear. So we're driving along. I'm gonna go back down to fifth, fourth. Now, you could probably hear it there. At fourth, there definitely was a sound like it had dropped down, uh, which is good. That's what it's supposed to do. Now, I'm gonna try something a little risky. Uh, I'm gonna downshift at 55 once we get out here uh, to some lower gears and see if it actually even lets me or what really does happen. But right now, we're cruising in fourth gear and it seems to me, and I believe I, and it seems to me that fourth gear is the sweet spot. It likes fourth gear, it stays in fourth gear, uh, it even takes off in fourth gear. And if you really want to run through the other gears, that's where the manual part comes in and you have to do that yourself. So now we're at 42 miles an hour. I think the speed limit's 45 here. Let's go down to third. There's third. There's second. Oh, did you hear that? It will not let me downshift into first gear going at 37 miles an hour. Let's go to third. It's a little bit better. Let's go to fourth. And that's the gear that it loves. So I'm going to try something else. We're going to be a little bit risky. I'm going to downshift uh, at 55. And we're going to see if uh, it will let me downshift and how far it will let me go. Since we know there's a built-in safety feature, that beep, I'm sure it's gonna beep at me at some point. But here we go, we're taking off in fourth gear. We're gonna get up to speed. All right, we're at 50, I gotta drop a little bit. We're at 55 miles an hour, let's go down to third. It did let me go to third. We're still at 55 miles, 54 miles an hour. Second, let's try first. It will not let me go to first. You guys can hear the exhaust, I assume. We're in third now at 47. Now we're uh, at fourth gear at uh, 49. And now we're at, uh, let's see, fifth gear and we're cruising 51. Now we're going to hit six. I'm going to get back up to 55. I assume six gear, it's like the cruising gear, even though the Tacoma seems to like to stay in fourth. But now we're in six gear. We're just cruising along at uh, 54 miles an hour. So let's see what happens. I'm in six. Is it going to drop? We're going to take a turn here, slowing way down. I'm down to 20, 20 miles an hour, 16 miles an hour. Where did we end up? We're still in sixth gear according to the odometer, the screen. So we never dropped down to fourth either. But I'm shifting. You probably heard the shift right there. So the screen is not really indicative. There it was another shift. It's not really indicative of what gear you're in. It shows you what gear you selected, but it doesn't really show you what gear you're currently in because I'm showing sixth gear and uh, I could feel shifting, but no change on the dash. Kind of odd. So what's the take on this? Well, it will let you shift. It will not let you blow up your transmission. That's a good thing. So even if you accidentally push it over into manual mode, it's still going to run through the gears uh, no matter what you do. I still show sixth. Let's bring it down. There's fifth. There's fourth. And you can hear a little bit of the exhaust note change. So everything changed a little bit. Let's go back up to sixth watching the RPM gauge now. We're a little over two grand. We did drop down uh, about 1500 and now we're going to sixth and we dropped down to about 17 1800 i'd say something like that so obviously the engine is reacting when i uh when i go ahead and manually shift it down but i don't feel a whole lot in it other than what you noticed in the video earlier uh, you can definitely feel when it shifts uh, particularly if you go down into lower gears we're hitting 50 right now fifth, fourth, third, and second. 
Let's get back up. I don't want to run it too long like that. You can feel it when you do the extremes. Uh, is it fun? I wouldn't say it's necessarily fun. It's neat to, to hit the shifter and feel like you're going through the gears, but you know, it is absolutely nothing like a, a real manual where you have to sink the clutch, be in the right gears. I mean, in a real manual, if I was traveling at 55 and I threw her into second, maybe even first, it would let me do it and the uh, result would potentially be catastrophic. You'd either knock apart your transmission or the wheels would lock and you'd potentially lose control. Anyway, I'm going back to fully automatic. There we go, the light's gone, it shows drive. Um, I don't know, it, to me having a sport mode in anything really is kind of a gimmick. It's kind of a, a band-aid to soothe that manual feeling that you have or maybe make you feel like you drive a manual even if you don't know how to do it. Leave a comment, let me know. If you have uh, sport mode, which I think most do, uh, in your automatic Toyota Tacoma, do you ever use it and does it give you the same satisfaction if you know how to drive a manual that driving a manual does? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Rob Motive MT, all about mini trucks. Right now, my 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.